many of you have tried fad diets? Are you someone that's constantly looking for shortcuts or that quick miracle solution to lose weight? Well, if you have been following my videos, you will know that I am against any fad diets that are restricted and only work short term. The sooner you stop looking for that quick solution and start making gradual changes to your eating habits, the quicker you will start to see permanent, sustainable, and real results. So what I want to share with you today is a habit that will help you towards your weight loss long term. Basically, I want you to start introducing soups into your meal plan. We don't always have to eat only salad to be healthy or to lose weight. If you don't like salad, then opt for soup instead. A bowl of homemade soup has as many benefits and nutrients compared to salad. Research has actually shown that people who consume a bowl of low-calorie soup before their meal ended up eating about 20% less for their main meal, and they consume less total calories throughout the day, which led to weight loss. I'm not going to tell you to only be eating soups and nothing else because I don't think it's healthy and you may end up feeling hungrier. So, for the next 28 days, here's what we're going to do. I want you to include at least two servings of soups every day. You can have it either for breakfast, lunch or dinner. Choose only low-calorie vegetable or broth-based soup. For instance, chunky vegetables, pureed vegetables, chicken or beef broth. Avoid cream-based soups, especially those loaded with heavy cream, cheese or pasta. Avoid instant can or powder soups. Those soups tend to be very high in calories, sodium and fat, which defeats the entire purpose of adding soups into your diet. And if possible, go for homemade soups. If you want to use ready soup stocks for convenience, then really read the food labels. Go for low sodium and low fat options. And here are 10 reasons why you should add soups into your diet. It is very nutritious. You're basically getting a good balance of protein, carbs and healthy fat all in one bowl. It gives you energy and keep you going throughout the day. You feel full quicker and longer. So the combination of water and solid in soup fills you up quicker and longer because it expands in your stomach. You'll reduce your total calorie intake. Because soup can fill you up on very few calories, eating soup on a daily basis means you will eat less calories, crave less, feel fuller, which will help you to lose weight and also maintain a healthy weight long term. You will increase your water intake. The basis of soup is basically water. So eating soup will contribute to your total daily water intake and keep you hydrated. You get to meet your five a day. If you hate eating your vegetables, pureed vegetable soup is the easiest way to add more vegetables into your diet without feeling like you're forced to eat your veggies. It's great for digestion. So the high water content of vegetables in soup promotes healthy digestion by flushing out toxins in the body. So if you suffer from constipation, bloating or water retention, try adding soups into your diet. It's easy. Anybody can whip up a good bowl of soup. Even if you can't cook, it is very difficult to mess up. It's a one pot dish. So you can keep adding a little bit of something or more of something until it tastes good. You can make a head. Whether chilled or warm soups, you can cook them in large badges. Keep them chilled in the fridge or freeze them up and reheat when ready to eat. It is so convenient and they will keep for many weeks. It's affordable. Vegetables, broths and water are cheap. You can easily cook a large pot of soup at a very low cost to feed the entire family to keep them full and healthy. And it's very comforting. No matter what cultural background you're from, a bowl of soup is always very comforting. It is also very nourishing, restorative and easily digested, especially when we're ill. The recipes of making a hearty bowl of soups are endless. It can be served hot and even chilled. So if you want soup recipes which don't require cooking and you can take it up with you, try my no cook chilled soup recipes. They are easy and very convenient. No warming up needed and you can eat it right away. If you prefer a bowl of warm cooked soup, then try out my three vegan slimming soup recipes. You can also make them ahead and freeze them up and they will last for many weeks. When you want to eat them, just take them out, defrost it and reheat the soup. And if you want to have soup as your main meal, 
then check out my eat soup and stay slim recipes. You can try out the soup noodles or make chunky soup vegetables and add barley or even rice into the mix. All video links are also available in my description box below. And when you eat out, instead of ordering your usual dish, try to go for a light broth-based soup noodles, such as pho, udon soup, miso ramen, tom yum, beef noodles, fish noodles, chicken soup, bean soup and more. So, go and watch my soup recipe videos. Make them and share your pictures with me on Facebook and Instagram. Again, I am not recommending you to only be eating soup and nothing else. Eat a well-balanced diet. Be consistent with your workout routine and add soups into your meals to gain the benefits. I want you to keep me updated on your progress. So be sure to hashtag JSOFRecipes and hashtag 28 Days Soup Challenge. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumb up, share it and subscribe to my YouTube channel for new weekly videos. All the best!